Okay, so here on West Hill, we're taking out this hedge here. The client's already made a start on these couple of bits, taking out the fence and replacing this old fence with a six foot high feather edge gravel board top gap. Uh, post savers on all the posts. They are really good value uh, all the way down to here. So I think from memory, it's about 37 meters of fencing as part of the project. We're also taking out this. The client has uh, taken all the greenery off it already. So all we need to do is take out the stems, get them out. We'll chip whatever we can, and then we'll take the, the rest possibly to the neighbor or a couple of houses up. So that's it for now all the way down So we've got all the tops cut off these so we can pull the tops out away from the fence uh, and then we're going to try and keep as much of it together as possible. So we've got as few pieces as possible. You can see the condition of the old fence panels and the old fence. Uh, that's been easier to take out than the, the hedge. Um, the hedge is dead in, a, in quite a few places to be honest. Uh, all the way down here there's virtually nothing on it. It's all just ivy that's making it green uh, and these ones down here have been dead for quite a while so good progress so far time is 8.25 Okay, so hedge is coming out nicely. All of the stumps down this end were uh, completely rotten, so they could just be pushed over once we detach them from the fence and each other. Really straightforward. Just getting all the stuff out, we'll get the first few posts in <sighs> shortly. Uh, and we'll, you know, we'll aim to have probably 10 posts in by around midday. Apparently we've got some metal gates down that end, which we're going to move out of the way. Yeah, you can see where the old posts were, all the ivy and things. Dotted about. It's a bit warm, a bit dusty. Okay, so we've got the first couple of holes going in. That one might have to go back a little bit. Kind of want the back of the post hard up against the bank where it was. So you might have to go back a tiny bit more. And then the fence kinks uh, where Ed is digging that hole. Now I'm not taking a piece of bamboo with me. Coming through, coming through. You can see we've got the hedge out, got the old fence out, big pile there. So we'll chip everything up. Um, get that away, 
somebody with a motocross track locally would like it to put on that the logs may go to the neighbor or we may take them back to the yard and then the old fence of which there's in reality not actually that much now uh, we'll go to either the skip or we might just take it straight to EMS a little bit later on it's all going fairly well time is 10.30 Okay, slight change of plans. Um, the client has called us at about 11 o'clock and said the feather edge needs to go on the neighbor's side, which wasn't the original plan. Uh, so we've had to take down all the bamboo here. We did call the neighbor just to make sure that he understood we we're gonna have to take it all down. And he's requested that we leave it there so he can use it for canes or something like that. So we've got the line of the fence and because we've got quite a bank here uh, that was kind of leaning up against the old fence what we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of two by eight on the bottom and then we're going to put the gravel board on top of that and build it as normal all the way up the fence so that we're not potentially having something that's on the bottom that's going to rot out really really quickly can, it, can you see can oh. you see yeah i can see myself yeah Cool. Okay, so posts are going in nicely all the way down, all the way up there. It's a bit of a kink at the end of this one, um, but after we've set that post, the client called and said uh, try and straighten this area up a little bit. So we have managed to do that a little bit, but it still kinks in at the end. Um, there's a load of concrete in the bank here, which is not going to be uh, possible to dig out and get the gravel board in. We've gone and got these two by eights. We're going to put on the bottom to help retain the bank.
Okay, so as you can see, we've got all the, the rails on. All the way down, they just finished doing those. First thing this morning, time is uh, 8.26. Uh, and we ended up taking this end post out, which we put in before we knew that the, uh, the feather was going on the neighbor's side yesterday. We've moved it, so it's all in line now. So it's all good. There's still a little bit of a kink on the corner of the garage there. It's all looking a bit better. We've had Sol work really hard, taking all the bamboo out here with the matic uh, to give us a bit of a clearer run. So, We've now had the top of the 2x8 gravel board marked by Max and that should be going in any moment, just preparing a couple of the areas so it can go in. It's all looking pretty good, so for now I'm uh, going to be working on getting this stump ground out uh, while they get the gravel board in. So a feather edging attempts, we make sure that the last ball was put on level, absolutely bang on, well done Jake. Take our feather board, put it about an inch in, we do a 25mm overlap, so these are 150 boards. We've then cut this block to 125mm, giving us our 25mm overlap, 
we make sure that it's nice and flush on this side, nice and flush on that side. We can now put the block down, take the nail gun, nail the first nail in, double check it for level, spot on, middle and bottom. Through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays, and on and on we'll go. Through the wastelands, through the highways, and on and on we'll go. Okay, so here we are, just finishing up. A uh, little bit of feather edge to go, maybe six or seven meters there. All the way down here, this is where the hedge was. Just starting a final tidy through now, so some of these bits of holly and things that are growing up we're going to take out. You can see we've ended up with a, uh, a three or four foot space we've gained. And then we've got a two by eight gravel board just because of that bank on the other side. That's all looking pretty good. Dead straight up there. And then it kinks by the garage. It's almost exactly the same line. However, it should actually be parallel with the garage on the leads. And it's still not quite parallel, but it's closer to parallel. So as we're finishing up the job here, customers come out. They're extremely happy. Took about another 45 minutes from this point to get everything feather edged, uh, the top cap on the feather edge, and just to get the place tidied up a little bit more. Uh, the customer is so happy that we're going to be going back and looking at a couple of other projects for them. Some raised beds and maybe a patio as well. Stay tuned for that.